Hey guys, do Legit City here. Today we're gonna be going over in the game of auction not included how to create vacuums. Of course, we're gonna be going over three different methods of creating vacuums, and in each of these examples, we're gonna be using a room size similar to this design with a liquid lock right in front. Of course, regardless of the reason why you need the vacuum rooms, whether it's to create a new storage box for a new gas, to separate and filter out the gases in the environment to create a design that utilizes the vacuum to its advantage regardless of what it may be these are going to be some of the methods and going over some of the pros and cons the first method we're going to be talking about is the gas pump method if you guys didn't know gas pumps pump out gas as the name implies but the things about the gas pump is that it actually draws from the bottom left hand tile of the gas pump the four tile size is represented here and the bottom left hand tile over here is where the gas actually enters the gas pump and goes into the pipeline when it pumps it actually pumps in a plus sign like this and it can grab gas from each one of these five tiles that being said and at a rate of 500 grams per second that means that as long as the gas is at least 100 grams per tile in the area and there's no other pumps doubling up on the tile it's going to be pumping out at that set rate however that means that once the gas grows thin and it's less than 100 grams per tile the gas pump starts to become inefficient because of that this is going to mean that it's not going to pump at a constant 500 grams per second rate throughout the entire vacuuming process a downside of the gas pump too is that it also requires you to use power as uh, this is the only method that requires power out of the three methods we'll go over today another thing about this is that you also need to have a way to release that gas if your gas pressure is too high you're going to be hard pressed to find out that the vent may not be able to release it which requires you to either store the gas or if you already have the option use the high pressure gas vent that being said though, this method is very good for normal shaped boxes like so, where there's no odd shapes and no mixed gases that will take advantage of the odd shapes. Those scenarios is where the gas pump starts to actually falter as the gas density messes around with how much they could pump and it may make it mean that the gas goes thin in a certain range because of the element only able to float in that height range in a normal box room like this and if it's a single element or not this is going to be a very good method of doing so as we kick that on it's actually not going to take too long for this to actually pump out into a vacuum now of course this is a gas pump method depending on if you guys want to use one or two gas pumps it's going to be up to you but because the gas pumps only pump at 500 grams per second and the pipeline holds a thousand you can actually put two gas pumps onto the one pipeline now, as you can see, relatively quickly, we were able to pump out most of the gas. And just like that, we'll get a vacuum. Very closely. At the milligrams. At the milligram rate, you can see that it's only 20 grams that we're pumping out at a time. And as this grows even thinner, we'll approach the micrograms or MCG category right there. In which case we could only pump if there is the element present. Once the vacuum starts being created by the pump, the remainder of the gas will try to spread out into those empty tiles. Of course, this is a process that's painstakingly long. Another thing is that because of the fixed rate, the volume of the gas in the room heavily dictates how long this takes. As if it's a heavy, heavy, high pressure gas situation, this is going to take a long time. Of course, it's going to struggle in the high pressure and low pressure range, but at the uh, pressure around the gas vent range, 2000 to 5000, it's going to be pretty good as it's going to be one of the better options within that range. As you can see, with the odd shapes, the top right, this is struggling to empty out while the rest of the room is already a vacuum. That's what I'm actually mentioning when I'm talking about low range and odd shaped rooms. As the gases is going to take a little bit to spread out and then become a vacuum. But once this is reduced enough, it will actually just disappear. as it approaches single digit micrograms which is too little to actually visibly see seven five and we are approaching the vacuum state there it is and it's completely gone so 
that's going to be the gas pump example and the next example we have we have the door crusher setup the door crusher setup is powerless and it does great door crushing of the gases in a high pressure environment that's due to the design and how it works the door crusher actively waits for the gas to even out and that once that's done we're going to be setting up our timer to seven seconds each on red and green with the buffer at three seconds the automation is going to be as shown the timer connects to the outside doors first with the buffer going into the second door as you can see we close the outside doors first allowing us to uh, trap the gas over here which has this in kilograms on each tile in which we'll delete and by doing so we will delete a good amount of gas and of course this is going to be more of a proportional to the volume type of deletion the gas pumps was a fixed 500 grams the door crusher is going to be dependent on the gas volume because you're going to be deleting two tiles at a time because of that and the fact that we create a vacuum every time we open and close the doors the gases are going to rapidly go over the vacuums and spread out to even itself out because of that this is a great method for high pressure environments as you're going to be deleting a load of kilograms depending on the pressure level over here you saw that we deleted around six kilograms when it was about two kilograms per tile so that was really good for us on the initial door crush but as you can see here this is going to be somewhat of a slow method as we have to wait seven seconds per interval to door crush this is slower compared to the gas pumps in the two to 5k range as that's gonna be a lot faster than the door crushers however this method does get the job done although this is going to be a little bit slower it is powerless so you could put these anywhere to delete the gas as long as you have solid tiles around the tile that's crushing the gas the gas will be deleted instead of being displaced and of course you could see that we're in the hundreds of grams already it's going to slowly creep up and then eventually it will become a vacuum sadly though because of how it's three seconds for a mechanized airlock to completely open and close the seven second three second buffer that we have set up here is all we could really utilize to speed this up it's not something we could really keep and this is really the fastest we could push this that being said we're approaching the low gram mark but it's still going to take a little bit more time before this completely becomes a vacuum so this would be a great option in a abnormal shaped room and in a high pressure room. The abnormal shapes is because once you create a vacuum, the gases rush to basically spread over the vacuum as those are the gas properties. So in an odd shaped room that is maybe at the side of the map lined up with a neutronium that's not perfectly flat, the gases are not going to have as much freedom to move around as much as it wants to sometimes a hydrogen bubble might get caught on the underside of a hook so it can't move to the top and then you get a random hydrogen in micrograms at the end part for your pumps and that becomes difficult to or well not difficult but rather slow to completely delete that being said as long as we create a vacuum the gases are going to rush over so that we could delete this at somewhat of an even rate every time now the next method is going to be the build deconstruct method a lot of the times this is going to be the most popular method as it is the fastest what i recommend doing is actually building at one layer at a time going up vertically as that is the fastest way however you're not always going to have that convenience of being able to go on top of your liquid lock as so and if the room doesn't have space up top or if something's already there you're not going to have that option so instead we're going to be showing you today how i would do it if that were to be actually having something in my way so we'll just have it go through it normally so by having the lock like this you're going to want to build out in this shape and then we're going to have to wait for the dupes to build it after this is built we're going to slowly build it out so that everything is built out of the room and of course, this is a great method as long as your dupes don't get entombed. Of course, you can't help that to be the case sometimes. The duplicates are special folks. Now, this method's very solid as if you have enough dupes, this will always be the fastest case, even in the big builds. However, 
it's really dependent on up to you. Sometimes you don't have the duplicates manpower. Sometimes you don't want to build everything out and then deconstruct it. There's going to be these three methods for you to choose to. There is the option of setting up the priorities for the build supply command, but because it's two separate jobs, that reliably doesn't work. And I would not recommend doing that as as soon as something is supplied, the builder will try to actually build it immediately. So it does not follow the priorities for that. That being said, that's still a strong method of vacuuming. Although you do have to micro a little bit, it's not too much that it becomes a pain. Now, of course, we're moving all the gases in. And then once we get to this tile, we're going to crush all the gases. All right. And as you can see, that's 57 kilograms of polluted oxygen. All the tiles accumulated onto this one tile. Now, after that's done, we'll be able to deconstruct this. And it is already a vacuum, as you can see. Unbreathable vacuum. And this is true, as long as the dupes build and deconstruct over the area and you have a way with liquids for the dupes to go in and out, the gases will get crushed. And of course, unless you have something off-gassing in here, that would be the only thing that may break the vacuum. But otherwise, the build-deconstruct method is very strong, very fast, especially if you have a large duplicate army. Of course, this is powerless, but does require duplicate operation. But guys, that has been the vacuum video comparing the three different methods build deconstruct door crush and the gas pumps i know there's a lot of other methods such as using liquids if you guys have any questions about this video leave a comment down below hope you enjoyed today's video and of course guys don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys